Hello everybody and welcome back to another Halo editing tutorial and this is going to be a pretty short one. This is just going to be how to get a solo map uh, to work in Sapien or how to make a solo map in Sapien and get it to run in custom edition. Um, there's, you literally have to take one option in Sapien but there are some other options, one inside of custom edition itself and then one to do with a shortcut. But uh, to get the Sapien part out of the way, if you have your mission. You have all the stuff in it you want. Uh, all you do is you go to mission right here, and then you, you're you probably on this multiplayer, but you set the type to solo, and there you go. You save it. You compile it, which, um, if you don't know how to compile, I'll, every single one of these videos, I'll just link the original Sapien video I did, and then all the playlist, the entire playlist, just to make things easy. But I'll do it right now just to, just to do it. So you just do top, you just do tool space build dash cache dash file space levels um, backward slash test backward slash uh, your map name and then the scenario name within your map folder and then you just hit enter and it'll do all this shit and when the, that pops up again you're good to go. So now for the other stuff. So um, you need to you need to make a custom edition shortcut. And I actually have mine in a for in a folder on my desktop. Um, here it is, right here. I got my I got all my Halo shortcuts and stuff right here. So you you create your shortcut, then you right click on it, you go to properties, and then in the properties mode, this is where you're able to um, do it. Because in custom edition, you need to you need to open the console and then type out, basically tell the game to run the single player map. Because you can't do it in campaign, and if you run it in multiplayer, it'll crash. So you just, you copy all of this. This is, this last one right here, that's just to make it, um, 1920-1080. So, I'll probably just copy this in the, in the description, and you can just, uh, you probably, do you need to do a space? No, you don't, okay. So you don't need to do any space, you just go right after, you go right after the entire, uh, whatever this is called. The directory, the target directory, right after it, and then you just paste all that. And then, you open custom edition. And then the final step to get a single player map to run, is you, once you do all that, and, uh, one more thing. Um, me, I have it, I have it also pinned to my taskbar since I need to go in and out of this so many damn times. But, if you... If you have this pinned before you do the thing in the target um, in the target line, you need to unpin this uh, from the taskbar and then repin it after you've done it. I learned that the hard way. But after that, then it should work just fine. So you go into custom edition, you hit the the console key right below escape, right above tab, next to one. When this decides to load here, and it didn't, okay. Alright, this time it should work. Alright, so now, to get any single player map to run, without actually doing the campaign missions, which... You can't really do the campaign, actually... I have no... just ignore that whole last part. To get a single player mission to run, hit the console key, then you type map, underscore name, space, and then you type your map name. So this is Bob underscore infinity. And that's it. You don't need to do any any parentheses, any quotation marks, nothing. Just map underscore name, space, your map name. Then you hit enter, and it'll load up here. And the, uh, the benefit of doing a solo map like this is you don't have to you don't have to worry about a timer, and you don't have to um, you don't have to pick a game mode. You don't have to worry about any of that shit. And AI allegiances will work in single player mode because that's one thing I tried a whole lot in multiplayer AI allegiances, and it never ever worked. But that that's a scripting thing. That's a whole separate thing, the AI allegiances. But single player. 
is definitely more suited for AI, as you'd expect. So yeah, um, yeah, pretty simple. You just, you set the, uh, you set your scenario in Sapien, you set your scenario to solo, and then you go find your shortcut. In the target line, in the shortcut, you do the, uh, you just paste the thing all, uh, paste in the description, you just, you paste these two. But I'll include the vid mode 1920 1080 anyway, just because. But you get those two in the target line, you apply it, you unpin and repin it to taskbar if you want that done. And then when you're in custom edition, you do, um, you do map underscore name. What the hell am I looking for? Okay. Map underscore name. And then you just go find, go find the name of your map. So map underscore name space, Bob underscore infinity. And I, I'm actually, I think that might work for all these missions. Oh no. Oh, okay. I almost forgot this. Since you, since you were running a multiplayer map, your player's scenario block is probably set to all games, because that's the only thing that will work for every multiplayer game. But when you're doing single player, you want your uh, player spawn block to be none for everything. Because if it's anything else than none, it will not spawn for solo. So yeah, good thing I remembered that right at the end. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty simple, pretty quick, pretty easy. I just... Thought I'd get that out of the way, because, uh... <laughs> I'm doing the, uh... I'm working on the command lists for the AI right now. I most, I, I pretty much got it done, but, uh... Definitely a little bit of a struggle for some things, so I might as well do a really easy thing before that. So, yeah, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So, thank you for watching.